What if I told you that in just a few minutes, you could go from a simple idea in your head to a fully working web app that's live on the internet? No coding marathon, no endless setup, no juggling different tools. That's the power of Zoer AI, an all-in-one app builder that designs, codes, and even deploys your project with just a prompt. It's like having Lovable building your front end, Supabase powering your back end, and Netlify handling your deployment. Except Zoer fuses it all together into one seamless AI-powered platform. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a complete full-stack app, from authentication to database and even integrating 3D models, without touching a single line of manual code. By the end, you won't just be watching, you'll know how to launch your very own app to the world. So buckle up, because what we're about to build together might just change the way you think about web development. Let's jump right in. So guys, this is Zoer AI, our all-in-one AI-powered app builder. The first thing you should do is open the first link in the description box of this video, and it will bring you right here. Go ahead and sign up for an account to get started. Now let's take a look at the main interface. Right at the center of the screen, we have the text prompt box. This is where we describe our app idea. You can also choose whether you want your app to be public or private. Just keep in mind that to make it private, you'll need to upgrade your account to the Pro plan. Next, let's open the Integration tab. In this drop-down menu, we have two very important options. One, the Zoer built-in database. Enabling this will add a fully working database to your app. Two, the Authentication option. This provides a complete login and authentication service for your app. Both of these are essential features for any real-world project. And here's something important to remember. When you enable authentication, it will automatically enable the database as well because authentication requires a database to store user information. Zoyer also gives us the ability to upload up to five images as references. This is really helpful if you want the AI to generate a design that's closer to what you have in mind. Another useful feature is the Prompt Enhancer. This takes your basic idea and expands it into a more detailed and professional app description, so you get much better results. At this point, you can either write your own detailed prompt, or if you just want to quickly test capabilities, you can choose from the example prompts available at the bottom. Let's go ahead and use this one, a landing page for my new AI SaaS product. Great. We can already see that the prompt looks very detailed, but let's enhance it further using the prompt enhancer. Now it looks perfect, and we're ready to move forward. Let's hit the send button. Zoer AI will now analyze the prompt, and in just a few seconds, it comes back with a full project plan. This includes a detailed design specification based exactly on what we asked for. Here you can review the structure and even make adjustments if you'd like. For example, let's say we don't like the default color scheme, and we also want to add some animations to the project. I can simply type in, I want the web app to feature advanced animations, including smooth fade in and fade out transitions from the right, left, or bottom, along with clean scroll triggered effects. The overall theme should be set to dark mode, styled with gradient colors and subtle spotlight effects using this palette. Now let's hit send again. Zoer immediately gets to work, rewrites the plan and applies all the changes we requested. Next, I want to change my hero section and add a 3D model to it. So I go ahead and say, for the hero section, I want to display two elements, a full screen 3D spline model as the background. Use the provided embed code to integrate it into the site. Here inside these parentheses, we're going to add a 3D model embed code from spline, which is a super simple process I'll show you step by step, and a large text element positioned at the bottom of the hero section. Great. Now all I need to do is add the 3D model's embed code. For that, let's head over to spline.design. First, sign up for a free account to get started. Once you're signed in, look at the left panel and click on the community option. Here you'll find tons of ready to use 3D models created by other users. You can browse through them, pick the one you like, remix it, customize it, and then use it in your project. For this tutorial, I've already prepared a 3D model that I'll be using. I've also shared the link to this model in the description box down below so you can use it as well. Once you open the model link, you'll see this page. From here, select the Remix button and wait for the model to load. When the loading is complete, click the Export button. This will open up a new panel. 
we'll need to wait a few seconds while Spline generates the public URL for the model. Once that's ready, you can copy the embed code from here. Perfect. Now that we have the embed code, let's go back to Zoer and paste it right inside the parentheses where we prepared the hero section prompt. Finally, select the send button. And there we go. Let's move ahead and click the build app button and Zoer will begin the generating process. It will start with analyzing our request and building the database first, which is Zoer's big advantage over some other AI tools. While many tools generate the UI first, Zoer actually builds the core database schema before writing any code. This ensures your app is stable, scalable, and ready for real-world use right from the beginning. The generating process usually takes just a few minutes. And here's another thing I really like about Zoer. It's actually very rare to run into errors while working with it. And now it's done generating. Since we enabled authentication before the build, the very first thing we see in the preview is a complete, professionally designed login and registration page. This page is fully functional and comes with two essential login options for your users, Google login and email password login. So let's go ahead and register a new account. I'll enter my email and password, then click Generate. As you can see, Zoer now tells us that a verification code has been sent to our email. What's great is that Zoer handles all of this automatically. It sends the verification emails for you, so you don't need to set up or pay for any third-party email service. I've just received the code, so let's paste it here and select Verify Email. And there we go. Our account has been created successfully. Now I'll log in with that same email and password. And wow, just look at this design. I can already say the result is looking amazing. But to explore it properly in full screen, let's click this link icon to open the app in a new tab. Here we are. As you can see, our hero section looks beautiful with the 3D model we added as the background, exactly as we requested. Scrolling down, we have a social proof section with smooth transitions. Below that, we've got the key features section, showcasing interactive feature cards with icons and hover effects, a really professional touch. Then we have the how it works section. This section may need a few small adjustments, but the great part is that you can easily tweak it with the help of Zoer AI. As you can see, the app includes every single detail and section that a real world app needs. And at the same time, you have full control. You can change, refine, or even add brand new features whenever you want. That's the power of building with Zoer. Now that we've explored the front end, let's also take a look at our app's backend database. So let's head back to Zoer and then switch from preview to database from the top panel. And here's the magic. Zoer automatically built and connected the entire database for this app. This is a huge advantage because it saves you from the hassle and extra cost of setting up a separate service like Supabase. Remember earlier I mentioned that in enabling the authentication feature also automatically enables the database? This is essential because every time a user creates an account on your app, their email needs to be saved in the database. That way, the next time they log in, Zora can recognize their account and give them secure access. As you can see right here, our test email is now stored in the users tab of the database. Pretty awesome, right? Another feature that's really helpful, especially for developers, is that Zora gives you access to the full source code of the app you just created. This means you can download the code base and continue working on it in another environment if you want. Just note that downloading the full code requires a pro account upgrade. Now let's take a look at the settings panel. Here we can see all the key details of our app. At the top, we have the app name, which in this case is AI SaaS landing page. Right below that, we can add an app description. Just below, it shows the status of the live site. Right now, it says not deployed since we haven't published the app yet. Then we have some customization options. So as you can see, the settings panel gives you quick control over your app's visibility, pricing, AI assistant options, and deployment status, all in one place. Next, we have this Copilot icon at the bottom of the page. When we open it, Zor gives us an AI assistant that can handle database tasks with simple text commands. Copilot makes complex operations as easy as chatting, saving you time while keeping everything secure. We also published the project that we created here into Zoer's community. We should see an option here to take that action, but I can't see it right now. Maybe refreshing the page will fix it. So let's refresh. And yes, now we have it. 
Here we can set a price for this project and publish it directly to the community. This is really useful because Zoer has its own built-in marketplace. That means you're not only creating apps for yourself, you can also share or even sell them so other developers or businesses can use them. Once it's published, it becomes part of your portfolio inside Zoer. To see everything you've built, you can click on the profile icon at the top right corner and select My Apps. This will show a full list of all your projects. And right next to it, there's also a Purchase Projects tab. If someone buys one of your projects from the community, you'll be able to track it here, which is a nice way to see how your work is being used by others. Now let's say we want to make some adjustments to our app. For example, maybe the hero section looks a little messy and I'd like to remove some extra elements like these three items at the bottom. All I have to do is type a natural language command, remove these elements from our hero section. Then I just copy and paste that text into Zoer. Let's also remove the watch demo button while we're here. Once that's done, I'll hit send and wait for the AI to regenerate the app. And here we go. Zoer instantly understood the request and applied the changes. When you're happy with the final result, the next step is to make your app live. Zoer makes deployment extremely simple. Just click the deploy button at the top, then select deploy to production. Once deployment is complete, you'll get a live link to your app. Let's open that link. And here it is. The first thing users see is a professional login and registration page. Let's go ahead and create a new account using a different email address. Zoer automatically sends a verification code to the email. So let's check the inbox. And yes, the code is there. I'll copy it, paste it back in the form, and click verify. Perfect. The account is now created. Now I'll log in with that same email and password. And we're in. Everything works smoothly. Finally, to confirm that our app is properly connected to the database, let's head back to Zoer's backend. In the Users tab, we should see the new account that we just registered. And yes, there it is, stored automatically in the database. And that's it. We built, customized, and deployed a full-stack app using Zoer, all in one place. It handles everything from the database to hosting, making it perfect for beginners and still powerful for developers. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. I've included all the useful links and resources down below in the description. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.